Hello my crafty friends and welcome to my first video in like five years. I'm sure most of you uh, who have seen this and clicked on it are like, who the heck is this and why am I subscribed to them? I have no memory of this. Yeah, it's been a while. I know it's, it's kind of terrible, but uh, I thought I would start making a few videos here and there. Uh, I've been wanting to do it again for a little while and just finally got myself around to doing it and so yeah here today we've got a little bit of mail art Monday for you um, I'm just decorating a couple of envelopes here for pen pals uh, to send out here soon so I'm just using this like chalk set I have never seen this before <laughs> I just found it on like a discount on Zulily. I don't know if you guys know what that is. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I buy way too much stuff on there, but um, they had it for sale under one of the craft categories one day and I was like, okay, let's try it. I don't know. <laughs> and it's kind of amazing. It's like, uh, you know, it kind of looks like an inked, you know, oh, the way you might use ink, but it's already dry and you can't smear it all over your fingers it's kind of cool um, so I just use that around the edge to kind of give I don't know an antique -y kind of look because my envelopes are super bright white so now I am just using some old newspaper and some book pages to collage on uh, to the envelope it's gonna turn out to be kind of like a I don't know, is shabby chic like a, a art term you can use? I think that's like a interior design thing or something, but I don't know. The finished envelope kind of reminds me of a shabby chic, something I might call shabby chic as someone who knows nothing about chic at all. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, using some more chalk on a label here that chalk stuff is pretty amazing. I use it quite a bit now that I have it. I don't even know where you can find it. The company it's by is Pebbles, which is, you know, like a stationary brand. They do like scrapbooking stuff. Um, so yeah, if you want to get your hands on some of that. I, the one I have is called Earth Tones. What is it say? Classic Chalks 30 Earth Tone Shades. Um, Maybe I'll try and find it online somewhere and link it for you guys in case you are interested in it as well. I don't have a real plan on like a filming schedule or things I want to film or you know I don't know I don't have a plan Stan I'm just creating this video right now for fun I don't have these grand schemes of becoming an influencer or anything I just love watching videos like these I have the equipment to film them and it's fun to share you know it's fun getting to watch other people creating their projects and you know it's fun also looking back on things that I've created myself you know I can come back and watch this later you know years down the line who knows and it's a fun memory for me in that way as well so here I am just recording this video and if you like if you if you've happened to find it and you like it then that's great um, you know don't come back every week thinking for another one because I have no idea at this point you know every spare minute is like a miracle I have got two kids now <laughs> it's just crazy so here I am just sticking through my little sticker drawer trying to find something I like for the back side of the envelope and I liked this little sticker here because it kind of brought out the color of that little dot I put in the other corner. If you 
can't tell, I really love these washi stickers. I went a little bit crazy and bought a ton of them, of those like botanical florally ones. Um, so you'll probably see those a lot on future videos. And I've gotten a handful in like grab bag orders as well of different styles. Like that one I used on the back of that other envelope. So here I'm starting on the second one using a lot of the same things in a little bit different way, or at least a little bit different placement, I guess. <laughs> I had a lot of fun decorating these two envelopes. It, I don't do a lot of envelope art usually, or I guess in the past I haven't, but I've been inspired by some of the letters I've received, and it's just there's something very special about opening up your mailbox and having something so beautiful <laughs> waiting there for you before you even open it up. Um, and you know, of course I've like decorated envelopes, but not like real detailed and I mean, not that this is crazy detailed, but you know, like a couple of strips of washi tape and some stickers and that'd be it for me on most of my envelopes in the past. And uh, like I said, I had a lot of fun on these and I look forward to decorating envelopes more often and sharing them with you guys as well. Busting out the chalk here again on this label. Uh, I'm telling you, it's real nifty. Sometimes that stark white just gets to me, so I had to, I don't know, it just feels like unfinished when you use that sometimes. And I don't have a lot of bigger labels. I think those are the only ones I could even think of. I guess I have big handwriting or something because I need a lot of room to write somebody's name and address on my envelopes. So uh, I have that big pack of labels. They're just all super, super blinding white. So that chalk really comes in handy for that. So here again, pretty much my last step always is adding some stickers. Stickers and washi tape <laughs> always come in handy. here I was planning to do the stamp like partly off of that flap but then when I actually got down to it I decided I was just gonna keep it 100% on there so I didn't need the piece of paper towel underneath there in case you're wondering why I did that you know the creative process is messy <laughs> you think you're gonna do one thing and you change your mind at the last second but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video of some envelope decoration, and I hope you will subscribe and join me for my next video, which will be working in my journal. Have a great Monday, and see you next time.